New tonight, law enforcement and the Robson County District Attorney's Office reacted to the county being ranked first in North Carolina for violent crime and property crime rates. As News 13's Andrea Gibbons reports, authorities say this may be partially due to a growing opioid epidemic in the area. 2022 crime stats recently released by the North Carolina State Bureau of Investigations show Robinson County had the highest overall crime rate for the third year in a row, increasing by 12.5 percent since 2021. Herbert Graham of the Roland Police Department says drug abuse has contributed to the high violent crime and property crime rates in the area. Well, the dealers are expecting payment and when they don't get a payment, they, they assault the subjects that got the drugs from them on credit. Graham says users also commit crimes to buy more drugs. They got to have some means of getting it, buying it. They're not working. I spoke with Robeson County District Attorney Matthew Scott, who says the county uses programs like the Adult Drug Treatment Program to try to fix this issue. Scott also said, quote, show me a county with high crime rates, and I guarantee that county is also low performing in schools and in employment rates, end quote. For the 2021 to 2022 school year, the public schools of Robeson County was designated a North Carolina low performing district with 20 of its 35 schools receiving a D or lower. Chief Graham also attributes high crime rates to court backlog. It's hard to make somebody deter somebody from doing a crime when you arrest him today and he's out tomorrow and he's out for another three years before he even goes to court. Scott says the county has been working with the North Carolina Attorney General's office to help fix backlog caused by high crime and employee shortage and pandemic delays. Reporting in Roland, Andrea Gibbons, News 13.